Hi there, I'm Kurt Robertson, creator of Rock and Pricing, and this video is about setting up the vendor items. And the vendor items is located by this red shopping basket that you can see right here. And so what we're going to want to do is just click that uh, red shopping basket, and you'll see items I purchased from vendors. Now, how this works is when you get this program, it will have all of Allied Photographics uh, prices and such in there from the from the get-go. Um, if you use Allied, that'll make it real easy for you. If you don't use Allied, it's no problem. What you need to do is just basically create a simple record for every item that you sell. Now, Allied's whole catalog is in here but you really don't need to do the whole catalog um, because no one in their right mind would sell every single item in uh, a labs catalog. You're going to pick the items that you create uh, and sell and then use those. So how we're going to do this is um, we're going to click on new record and how I'm going to do this is we have an item description and the item description is, I'm going to just put 8 by 10 instant. Um, and the item size is going to be 8 by 10. You just click on the little arrow next there and you select which size. The item type, it's, I'm going to call this a luster print. And the vendor name, I'm the only one in here right now but I have an instant printer which is going to let me do that so I'm just gonna set myself up basically as a vendor and the item cost is dollar and ten cents you can put a picture in of the item but you don't need to um, I just clicked on here to show you that uh, you can out of that and that's a script so what we'll want to do is just hit continue and we're back to the beginning and that's all you do for every single item that you're going to make uh, is just enter them in here just like so and it's very easy um, all of the finding and sorting functions work the same as the vendor list um, in this you're probably not going to need a lot of those uh, because of the next uh, building the item screen but um, uh, once again, just go ahead and build your items. Uh, if you use uh, a program or a spreadsheet where you already have them in, you can import the items from a CSV here. And, actually, and to be honest with you, you can do any sort of this information. If you have an Excel workbook, you can import them straight off from that. All you do is you match the fields up, import them in, and you'll be all set. And there we go. Um, once again, thank you for choosing Rocking Pricing, and we'll see you in the next movie.